one brother repair we're in the book of acts chapter where are we at 16 it's right 16 verse 27 if you like these short little videos go ahead and subscribe ring the bell only five to ten, ten minutes long um if you're already my subscriber thank you very much i'm honored and privileged so book of acts chapter 16 verse 27 let me read it and the keeper of the prison awakening out of his sleep and seeking the prison doors open, seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had fled. So, Paul and Silas were Trump, were in jail. They were whipped, scourged, and thrown in jail on trumped-up charges. And uh, their reaction to this torture and imprisonment was over over a minor thing preaching a new religion that's what they're accused of preaching a new religion well i mean so what so like that's what well, was a big deal back then i guess and um their reaction was to sing and and praise god at midnight sing and praise god at midnight that was the reaction and so God, uh, they were praying, but I don't know if they were praying to be released or what, but uh, God released them. He sent a, a big earthquake, or, or he sent an angel to do the earthquake. Yeah. You know, God's got people, you know, as they say. And so he sent an earthquake, which opened up the doors of the prison, and all the shackles just magically fell off. Well, not magically fell off, but the angels made them fall off. Amen. And so all the prisoners could run away, and none did. That tells you something about the prisoners and that maybe they're not guilty of anything. But the but the warden who was asleep, um, well, I guess he got asleep sometime, right? The warden who was asleep, um, woke up, found the prison doors open, and he made the same the safe assumption that the prisoners would run away. I mean, that's, I mean, I think anybody would have thought that, right? I mean, anybody would have thought that. I mean, why would the prisoners stay in there if the doors were open? But why would they stay? I mean, they would run off, right? Um, I'd probably run off. I don't know. I, don't know. I probably would. But, um, uh, nobody did. But the prison warden, the prison, the guy who's in charge of the prison, um, he wanted to, he took out a sword and he was going to kill himself. He's going to fall on his sword. Which, now that sounds unusual today, but in Greek custom, and Roman custom as well, uh, that was, that was the punishment the authorities would give a jailer. He, they would, they would, kill them and you can see that in acts chapter 12 acts chapter 12 um you see that same thing where the angel broke out peter out of prison and when herod wanted to get peter to execute him and found out he had escaped he had the guards all executed which was and that was the normal punishment for guards to let that when prisoners escaped the guards would be murdered. Same thing if they were had fallen asleep on duty and were found out, uh, they were put to death. So this is a, a common punishment that the authorities would have given the jailer anyway. But it was customary in Greek and Roman times in their custom. That if you're in a situation that you can't get out of, <coughs> at least you can't get out of with honor, um, it was your duty to kill yourself. It was your duty to kill yourself. Suicide was not considered wrong back then. You got to understand that. You know, today, in today's society, suicide is not con is, it's considered wrong. It's considered a cowardly way out or you know what they say about suicide. Um, but in those days, suicide was not considered wrong. It was not morally wrong to kill yourself, especially if you have a good reason to kill yourself, which in their eyes, a 
situation you have fallen into that you can't get out of without losing face. Like the prison guard. All the prisoners escaped. Uh, it would have been humiliating for him to report that to his superiors, who would have killed him anyway. So he was just going to, you know, kill himself and try to get some kind of honor back by killing himself, falling on a sword. I know that's all foreign ideas, and, and, and many Westerners don't understand that line of thinking, but uh, that's, that was the line of thinking back then. That was what they believed in. Um, generals, if they lost a big battle, if they lost a big battle, uh, generals would kill themselves. They'd fall on their swords because they, they were taking responsibility for the loss of the battle. And uh, that was common back then as well. So, so the jailer pulling out a sword to kill himself—that was normal behavior. That was uh, that was normal behavior in Greek and Roman world. Uh, thank God for Christianity, though. Christianity. Thank God for Christianity. You know, Christianity. We don't believe in suicide. We believe suicide is morally wrong. We believe that if you're in a situation that you can't get out of, God can get you out of it, or God can forgive you of any sin you committed, or any sin that you're you found yourself. You can always get on your knees and ask God for forgiveness. Amen. Uh, not so back in those days uh, with the pagan gods. Pagan gods is. It was all about honor and uh, winning and uh, things of that nature. Anyway, thank God for Christianity. God bless you. Thank you very much. See you next verse.